This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by Envato Elements. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome back to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this kind of a neon style sci-fi background animations inside of After Effects that do without using any kind of third party plugin. We will cover a lot of different techniques and effects to create this awesome background animation. With that said, if you're watching my video for the very first time, please do consider subscribing to the channel and if you've already subscribed then make sure you hit that like button let's aim for 1000 likes on this particular video with that said let's jump straight into after effects and get started All right, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. Let's call this render as our main render comp. I'm gonna go with 1920 by 1080. That is full HD, 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. Hit OK. Let's start off by creating our background. So let's hit Control Y. And I'm gonna call this a Fractals. Go into Effects and Preset and search for Fractal Noise let's keep the fractal type at basic and change the noise type from soft linear to block bring down the complexity to zero and then going to transform then uncheck the uniform scaling and let's scale this up a little bit like that and increase this as well like so so let's adjust it accordingly i can also uh, move the offset turbulence just in order to get some perfect squares at the corners as you can see right here and there so you can just play around with some settings here and also let's bring that down all right so this is looking perfect now let's animate the evolution so let's create a keyframe at the very start go all the way up to 10 seconds and set this or give this uh maybe four rotations so now we have this really nice animation. I'm going to bring down the opacity. So let's bring that down. Let's keep it something like that. Now let's create a new solid by hitting Control Y on the keyboard and call this grid. Go into effects and preset and search for grid effect. Double click to apply that. Bring down the borders to one. And now what I want to do is zoom in and here we get two points to control the grid so what i can do is place this point onto the square of our fractal so something like this i can also increase the opacity of the fractal to see if the grid is properly aligned so i can move this like that that is looking pretty close now let's go back and set the opacity to 4% of the fractal. So we have very minimal fractals. And then on the grid layer, I will be adding a roughen and edge effect. So let's go into effects and preset and search for roughen edges. Double click to apply that. Let's change the edge type from roughen to rusty. Bring down the border to actually zero. And you can see we get this really interesting look. So I can also animate the evolution again. So I'll go at the very start, create a keyframe on the evolution. Go at 10 seconds and let's give it an evolution of five. So now we have this really cool and interesting looking animation. We can increase the complexity. We can bring that down. I'm going to keep it at one. I'll increase the stretch width and height to one. Maybe that looks good. Um, let's increase the scale as well to 150. You can play around with the settings. You know, we can really increase this to get this really interesting pattern, but you know this looks good around 130 and now if i preview this you can see we get this really nice look i'll bring down the opacity of this grid a bit so i can go right here and bring that down just keep it very very subtle so somewhere around 25 should be fine yeah that is looking very nice maybe bring down the fractal opacity to three and we have this very nice looking grid and then i'm going to select the pen tool 
make sure the fill is set to none and um, let's keep the stroke at white for now set it at two pixels for now we can change that later on so i'll click right here and uh, create a point holding shift so we have one two three four five square and second square from bottom so one two three four five so right here and then one stroke just like that so we have a very nice and simple stroke so now we can go ahead and animate it and now in order to animate it we need to go into add and add a trim path go into trim paths and let's go at the very start create a keyframe on the start and the end well on the end and the start set both of them to zero create a keyframe which has already been created go to around two second and 15 frames and set both of them to 100 now i can hit Control shift edge so i can hide the control layers and you can see what's going on here so now what i want to do is select these two keyframes of the start property and move them maybe two to three frames forward in time and now we have this really simple animation now the more away the keyframes are the more longer the line is going to be and then i can select this keyframe i can hit f9 to easy ease them or go into keyframe assistant um easy ease go into the graph editor and i'm going to create kind of a peak into the center so i can keep a very nice influence of around 70 percent should be fine so now if i preview this we get this really nice animation maybe i'll keep it a bit more intense so i can just select this point and drag the handle holding shift like so so let's see yep that is looking pretty good i'm gonna call this stroke but before that let's hit Control d to duplicate it and i'm gonna select the shape one again and what i'm gonna do is go into the trim part and delete it all right let's select the shape to call this stroke or call this um whatever that you want and I'm gonna call this one line we can also change the color of this to yellow so that we know it's a uh, a different layer and it's, it's more much more important layer basically all right let's first of all give it a really nice color increase the size like so so somewhere around eight pixels should be fine so now we have something like this which looks pretty cool i can uh, select the line select the stroke actually hit u and maybe bring them a bit closer i want the line to be a bit shorter then select this line then select the rough and edges hit ctrl c and paste it on the line like that and then select the line layer go into effects and preset and apply the rough and edge effect set the border to around three um let's leave everything at default bring down the scale to 50 and probably i will increase the edge sharpen to something like two should be fine bring down the opacity and we can play around with the look so something like this should be fine a bit textured so around 0.7 is fine and then also bring down the stroke size to one and then i will bring down the opacity so hit t bring that down like so so somewhere around 20 25 person should be fine and now if i preview this we get this really cool look probably i'll increase the stroke size to around 10 pixels that is looking great and um yeah pretty happy with the overall look now what i can do is select the stroke layer hit Control shift c to precompose it and call the stroke comp fun is fine hit Control d to duplicate it hit s to bring down the scale properties unlink this and set this one to minus 100 and same with this one so select the line hit Control d to duplicate it hit s unlink this and set this to minus 100 so now if i preview this we get this really cool look 
Now I can jump into the stroke comp and I want to add a looping expression to this. So first of all, hit U so we can see the keyframes. I'll go right over here, select these two keyframes, hit Control C, Control V to copy paste it. Right click, go into keyframe assistant and time reverse keyframe. Then let's jump maybe a few frames forward like so. Select these two keyframes, hit Control C, Control V. Right click, keyframe assistant and time reverse keyframe. So now we have a reverse animation as well which looks pretty cool and let's add a simple expression on this so i'm gonna hold alt and click on the stopwatch and type in loop out open and close parentheses and that's it i can copy this expression paste it on the end property as well and now we have a continuous looping animation which looks pretty cool all right now i can select the i can now let's go back and let's add some glow to this so i'll go into effects and preset and search for glow add that let's increase the glow radius to 60 that is looking great and yeah let's duplicate this glow hit Control d again let's increase the glow radius a little bit like so so we have a much more controlled glow i'll set this to around 300 and go up and set the intensity down of this glow so if I go back, we get this really nice glows. I can also switch to 16 bits. So I'm going to hold Alt and click on this small button that you see right here. So this is going to give us much more prominent glows. And yeah, pretty happy with the look. Now you can create a number of different patterns with this particular design. I can even duplicate this. So hit Control D, you know, hit R and rotate it. So I'll rotate it by probably 180 degrees let's um, hit control d again select this control d and I rotate it by 180 degrees and now if i preview this you can see we get this really cool looking animation i can also offset them a little bit just to ha have a interesting look you know pretty cool now before I proceed further with this tutorial, I just want to take a minute and talk about today's sponsor Envato Elements. Design better projects faster with Envato Elements. Get unlimited downloads of beautiful and ready to use templates for your next project. Create more with premium design assets, video templates, mockups, fonts, presentations, photos, audio files, and more. All this comes with commercial licenses for extra peace of mind. Envato Elements will help you save a lot of time, effort, money. Get unlimited downloads with Envato Elements and start creating today. And now let's add some more shape to this uh, animation. So to do that, I can um, simply jump into the stroke let's select this hit ctrl c go back hit ctrl v to paste it and then let's change this color to something like this one all right and then let's select the rectangle tool and create a rectangle from the center holding ctrl and shift at the same time so i can make this bigger like so and I can delete the shape one now. So we just have the rectangle. I can hit, uh, first of all, let's select this, align this properly into the, align this properly into the center and um, then hit control D to duplicate it. Hit S and uh, unlink this, that is to minus 100. And we get this really cool look let's select both these shapes hit r and rotate them at 45 degrees so we get a really interesting look i can also hit u two times so i'll bring down the size as you can see it's a bit too bigger for this so i'll bring that down to around 600 same for this one i'm gonna hit s for this let's check this one So now what I'm going to do is select both of these layers, hit R and rotate them like so.
and let's make make this one start from right here so now we have this really cool animation pretty cool and as you can see it's looking pretty damn cool actually all right so now i'm going to select the line here hit ctrl d to duplicate it then go into the stroke and let's go into contents copy this rectangle hit ctrl c and paste it on line 3 hit ctrl v and then i can delete the shape and then i can hit r and rotate it at 45 degrees so we get this shape that we want and i can align this properly in the center like that i can zoom in and place my shapes accordingly so i can go right here select the stroke and let's adjust this actually so i'm gonna adjust this like that so everything is properly aligned select this one and bring that down a little bit and probably i'll select this and bring down the stroke size to around five all right and make it white as well i think five is still a bit too much so let's go with two or something and yes that is looking pretty dope now in order to make the animation more complex you can definitely add on more strokes and then i can select these two strokes hit ctrl d put them at the top i can change the color and move them a few frames forward like so so now we have a really interesting and complex looking animation pretty awesome and just using this simple technique you know you can create some really interesting looking background motion graphic animation inside of after effects and that too without using any plugins and finally to add some color to the background i can hit ctrl y call this color go into effects and preset and search for ram gradient ram apply that let's switch to radial ram pull this point right here pull this one right here swap the colors and let's go with a nice darkish blue color and change the blending mode of this layer to add so now we have some very nice look king animated neon line background so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did please do consider subscribing to the channel and let me know in the comment section below if you learned something new today with that said i will see you guys in the next video also before going make sure you follow me on instagram at dope.motions i have mentioned all the links in the description below and if you're feeling generous please do support us on patreon by just contributing one dollar that would help this channel a lot so with that said i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out